pi, we are asked to find the three values of our k. First, we are going to express this as perfect cubes, since they are perfect cubes already. So k to the power of 3 is equal to 27 is same thing as 3 to the power of 3, and 8 is same thing as 2 to the power of 3. Now, when you have a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m, this equals a divided by b, everything raised to the power of m, okay? So that means that we can write this as k to the power of 3 is equal to 3 divided by 2 raised to the power of 3. So we have k to the power of 3 is equal to, now I want to transfer this to the other side of the equation so that we equate this to be equal to 0. So we have k to the power of 3 minus 3 over 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Have you clicked on the subscription button? Turn on your notification bell as well. If this is the first time you have seen us, okay? Yes, yeah, so that you don't miss our amazing videos. We upload every day. So tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads. And give us a thumbs up if you are actually enjoying this video. Now look at what we have. Remember that when you have a to the power of 3, minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b multiplied by a squared plus a b plus b squared now in our case our a is equal to k while our b is equal to 3 over 2 so that means that we are going to write this as k minus 3 over 2 multiplied by k squared plus 3 over 2 multiplied by k plus 3 over 2 squared, okay? And everything is equal to 0. So we have k minus 3 over 2 multiplied by k squared plus 3 over 2 multiplied by k is 3 over 2k plus 3 squared is 9 and 2 squared is 4. is equal to 0. So this simply means that k minus 3 over 2 is equal to 0 and that k squared plus 3 over 2k plus 9 over 4 is also equal to 0. Amazing, right? So from the left side, this, we can see that k is equal to minus 3 over 2 across become 3 over 2. So this is the va first value of k. Now, look at the second value. We are going to get the second and the third value of k from here. Okay? But the question is, we have a fraction. We have fractions here. So, how do we remove the fractions and get a linear equation? When you have fractions with unknowns, the only way to make it a linear equation is to multiply all the terms using the LCM of your denominator. Okay? Now, our denominators are two... <coughs> 2 and 4, and the LCM of 2 and 4 is 4. So we are going to use 4 to multiply through in order to get a linear equation that we can solve using our quadratic equation formula. Mm, yes. All right, so let's do that. Now, the LCM of 2 and 4 is 4, so we are going to multiply through by 4. So we have 4 multiplied by k squared plus 3 over 2k plus 9 over 4 is equal to 4 multiplied by 0. Now, 4 times k squared will give you 4k squared. And 4 times 3 over 2 will give you plus 4 multiplied by 3 over 2k. Then plus 9, um, 4 multiplied by 9 over 4, right? Is equal to 4 multiplied by 0. Okay. Now, let's continue. If you look at this now, you have 4k squared, right? 4k squared plus this 4 we cancel. 2 we divide itself 1, divide 4 to give us 2. So what we have is 2 times 3, which is 6k, right? Then plus this 4 we cancel itself. We have 1, 1 times 9 is 9, is equal to 4 times 0 is 4. Amazing. Now look at what we have on the board. We now have a linear equation, okay? So we are now going to, sorry, this is 0. Now, we are not going to use the quadratic equation formula that states that k should be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. Now, that means our a, remember, a is always the coefficient of k squared, which will give us 4. b is the coefficient of k, which is 6. 
and c is a constant which is nine now we are going to substitute these values into this k to get the values of k okay so we have k is equal to minus b that is minus six plus or minus square root of b squared that is six squared minus 4ac that is 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 9 right everything divided by 2a that is 2 multiplied by 4 so we have k is equal to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 6 squared is 36 minus 4 multiplied by 4 times 9 is also 36 everything divided by 2 times 4 which is 8 Okay, so we continue. Let me face this side. Okay, so we continue. Now we have k is equal to minus 6 plus or minus. Let's factorize 36 out since that is what they have in common. Okay, so we have square root of 36 bracket. 36 divided by 36 will give us 1. Minus 4 times 36 divided by 36 will we have 4 remaining, right? Everything divided by 8. So k is equal to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 36 multiplied by minus 3 divided by 8. k is equal to minus 6 plus or minus. So we have this as square root of 36 multiplied by square root of 3 multiplied by square root of minus 1. Everything divided by 8 k is equal to minus 6 plus or minus now square root of 36 is 6 so we have 6 root 3 and square root of minus 1 is i so we have i everything divided by 8 now 6 and 8 they have 2 as a common factor so in order to reduce this further let us bring out 2 from our numerator okay so if we do that we are going to have that k is equal to Let's bring out 2. Now, minus 6 divided by 2 will give us minus 3. Plus or minus 6 divided by 2 will give us 3. Then root 3i. Three all right? Everything divided by 8. So, k is equal to 2. We divide itself to give us 1. And 8 will be divided to give us 4. So, we have minus 3 plus or minus 3 root 3i three divided by 4. So, this is the second and the third value of our k thank you so much for being here with us today see you in my next video bye